Hey there, today I'm going to be showing you guys what you should do in terms of building your FIFA Ultimate Team squad in FIFA 22. And let's start off by showing you guys my team. And my team is actually a team that you don't see too often. This team is being used to practice for the Belgium national competition. It's kind of uh, like the e Premier League, but then the Belgian version. But what is important to this? You have to take a look at these players. Um, I've got Fellaini as a CDM, mainly as an output CDM. He has 80 defending, but he's very tall, and he's going to be that midfielder that's more defensive minded. Then I'm going to have KDB as the other midfielder that is going to be offensively minded and, well, very balanced, obviously, because it's the team of the year, but mainly you pick him because of his long shots, his dribbling, his passing, stuff like that. And then I've got four attackers, Hazard, Bamba, David and Mertens that I can actually play a couple of different formations with because David is go always going to be an output striker, like he's just going to be the finisher for your team. So you always want to have two players that can play the striker position. That's Mertens in this case. I could go with Hazard as well, but I'd rather have Mertens because his pace isn't the best. So if he's in that central position already and playing as a striker or maybe as a cam even, he's going to be perfect. Because on the other end, Hazard has good pace and yeah, he's better down the wing in my opinion. Together with Bamba, they can play in different positions, but mainly in the winger positions. I'm going to explain you that um, in the custom tactics video. That's going to be pretty self-explanatory. But you also want to have the possibility to always have these two fullbacks and two center backs. And fullbacks, I'm going to tell you everything about every position right now. Um, fullbacks, you always want to focus on pace, like the best pace possible. You want to focus on strength. You want to focus on decent dribbling and good passing. So João Cancelo, obviously Team of the Year, is going to be the perfect example of an insane fullback. Five-star weak foot, four-star skills. You can play him left side, you can play him right side. But he has good pace, he has good height, he has good strength. Well, not the best, but decent enough, 80 plus. You want to be looking at at least 80 to, um, to even 90 plus strength uh, because you want to bully those wingers. They usually aren't the most physical players, but they are really fast. So a good passing or, or attribute is also pretty important for your fullbacks because you want to be able to sometimes put the wingers in on that side. For center backs, you always want to focus on center backs that have at least 85 plus pace in this FIFA because there are plenty of them. You want to focus on a lot of strength as well, a good acceleration, good sprint speed. If ideally they are both in the same kind of category, so you want to be looking at a player with, a, for example, 85 acceleration and 85 sprint speed, that would be ideal. Also, good defending attributes are obviously common sense for a center back. And I prefer center backs to always have medium high or at least six foot one because they need to be tall, they need to be physical, they need to win these uh, aerial duels for you as well. So then I, he's six foot oh, should be okay as well. But that is like, this is the perfect example for the acceleration sprint speed um, stats that you should be looking for for your center backs. Goalkeeper doesn't really matter too much which one you pick. I personally prefer the ones that uh, are a bit taller. Casillas isn't the tallest, but I got him for free with icon swaps, so that's why I'm using him. But you can always look at the traits, and the traits for a goalkeeper long throw, for example, is very useful because sometimes you can quickly proceed the play if the goalkeeper has made a save to watch your strikers with the long throw. Also, saves with feet is a very good trait, so if you have a goalkeeper with that, then you should be fine. And like I said, if you are going to play four attackers, then you always want to have the wingers that just focus on dribbling attributes, good skill moves, good weak foot, and a lot of pace. Bamba here, for example, is just some cheap card that has four star skills, four star weak foot, which is very nice. Good dribbling attributes, good passing as well, because if they're playing on the wing, you want to focus on passing as well. I almost forgot. Really solid card. And for a striker, like Jonathan David. Oh, let me just quickly go. Jonathan David, he is 
a very very good finisher he has 94 finishing can boost it up to 99 with a, with any chemistry style pretty much as attacking minor and five star weak food which is very important you want to focus on five star weak food as much as possible if you can get players with five star weak food that have good attributes as well for that position you want to get that three star skills only but hey it's only for the show right if you want to use skill moves Mertens, for example, this is going to be the card that can play striker as well, but can also play the cam role. So, let's get on to the custom tactics in the next video.